Welcome! Hello! I have just finished editing this vlog and I wanted to hop on and just say a few words before we get stuck into the vlog. Firstly, thank you for coming back over here and tuning back in. It has been three years since I have uploaded a video to this channel, which is just wild, blows my mind. Um, and it has been 10 years since I uploaded my first ever YouTube video. It feels like a really good time to be coming back into this space. I disappeared for a long time and um, I wouldn't have blamed you guys if you were like never tuning into her again. She has just vanished off the face of the earth. But the fact that I have been met with such like supportive, wonderful comments over on Instagram when I said that I was going to come back on YouTube just gives me all the warm fuzzies and I just really, really appreciate all of you guys for sticking around, tuning back in, being open to me coming back into the YouTube space. Um, enjoy the vlog and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. <laughs> Good morning. This is a bit funny, isn't it? It feels really weird. Um, we are just driving to Aberdeen. Lee's in his sports gear and I, I feel very dressed up actually next to you. I felt very dressed up in the playground doing the school well, run. You're, quite, you're dressed up for I am like dressed up. Out. Also for a night out. Um, where we live is also like really cash. So I went in the playground, got like my skirt and my tights and my boots on and did feel a bit like, woo. Um, but we're going to town. Lee is going to play tennis. But is it paddle tennis? No, normal tennis. Normal yeah. tennis. Um, you have tried paddle tennis, try paddle tennis, it's awesome. And I am going to go and have a little mooch around the shops. It is our eldest's 12th birthday <sighs> in a couple of weeks. Um, so I'm going to go and buy some bits and bobs and it's her bestie's birthday this weekend. So I'm going to go buy her some bits and bobs. I've got some things that I need to return. And I just fancied a little mooch because I've not been in in ages. So I thought I would take you with me. So come along. This feels a little bit retro, doesn't it? Come with me for a little bit of a mooch around the shops. And I'm really glad when I got dressed this morning, I dressed for eight degrees and now it's 15 degrees and hot. it feels hot. I was boiling in the shopping centre. How was your tennis? Tennis was class. Doug's the, he's the man at tennis. Doug's the man. He let Doug. me win, but he's still the man. <laughs> Doug is the man. Um, and it's now one o'clock and I'm going to go home and do a bit of tidy in our bedroom um we obviously you guys don't know unless you follow me over on instagram but we have been having bathroom renovation ongoing and it is dragging on isn't it yeah but we're very close to getting finished everywhere is just a little bit chaotic upstairs but we are nearing the end and i'm so ready to like now that i'm the tidiest person in the world i'm gonna I'm miss it all as well the time it's like everything's ready to use which we'll probably get Oh, you're going to miss it all, like from going away, I thought you meant you were going to miss the mess. No, it's like, no. what? Oh, <laughs> you're definitely not going to gonna miss the mess. Cleanliness in our life. Even I'll, having a spare room back. I'll really show you, awesome. show you when we get home. This is my new mirror. Oh, it's so bonny. Hello, did you miss us? Hey, I'm home and I thought I would just quickly show you what I picked up in Primark. First of all, I'm going to show you what I got. Um, my eldest daughter's bestie for her birthday and um, she said just pick her up some girly bits in Primark because that's what she loves so that is what I have done and um, so first up I got her these really cute makeup brushes matching flannels it's sounded delicious this is whipped shower foam watermelon fragrance got these um cake nails I don't even know if they'll fit their little fingers and last up I got her a toasted marshmallow lip balm and I have got a book on order that is coming from Amazon so and then we'll probably get like a bag of Haribo or something like that and then now I'm in this really cute little leopard print gift bag and I'll show you what I picked up for us in Primark I'm filming on my phone 
it's been 10 years since I uploaded, nearly, very nearly 10 years since I uploaded my first ever video onto YouTube. I just fit, feel like this is the right thing to do. I, it just feels good. So, I, and I just wanted to do it, so I'm doing it. This is what I got in Primark. So, bathroom reno renovation that I was talking about, there's new bathroom storage, and I thought these were quite nice. There's like two, seven pounds, and they're like basket, um, storage with like little ones so i got two lots of them to get it all nice and organized and then when i saw this bath mat i couldn't resist i don't know if this kind of what lee had in mind but i just absolutely loved it and it's very similar to one that i was looking at on the oliver bonus website and it was like seven quid nine quid so i thought oh, i'm just gonna get that because it's really really nice and i picked up this cream knit from primark which i thought was quite quite nice I think I need to lean more into v-necks rather than high necks because I don't think they're particularly flattering on me also got it in a pink and um Florence wants to be a devil for Halloween so I picked these devil horns up I got some new tights I got this cardigan because I really wanted the one from H&M but I missed out on it it sold out instantly and this is really similar with like the gold buttons and it's really it feels really lovely quality actually it's really thick like a heavy duty knit um so i'm looking forward to trying that on i think that will look very very nice and then picked up excuse the chaos picked up that mirror in home sense um i have wanted one i'm gonna this room the office is gonna have an overhaul it has been full for since june full of bathroom stuff because we've been having two bathrooms renovated and I finally got the space back just about. So I'm gonna get it all cleared, gutted out. I'll probably take you guys along with me. And I'm gonna try and have it as like a really nice aesthetic space that I can come and work, the girls can do their homework, and then I can also have it set up ready to go and film videos because I've been doing like my outfit checks in the hallway and it just doesn't really work very well when I'm trying on like multiple things. It's like right in the way. So I thought I would just, I've got a dedicated space, just utilize it and use it properly and have it all looking pretty. So yeah, I'm really delighted with finding that mirror um, because I was looking at them online and they were like two, I think the, the best price I could find online was like 250 pounds. And then I just saw that propped up in the corner of Home, Home Sense for 69.99. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go and get this stuff put away. Um, and then it'll be time to go and do the school run. Two days into doing the 75 day soft challenge which is basically an hour of exercise every day 10,000 steps loads of water and eating pretty healthy I've said loosely I'm doing 80% healthy eating 20% allowing myself to have those things that I really crave and making sure I do 10,000 steps every day and reading a chapter of my book every day and I am absolutely loving it what? I'm blow dried feeling good i have just made um paprika quite spicy actually hot paprika chicken in the air fryer and i've just had my first wrap it was one chicken breast but it was a costco chicken breast and they are absolutely ginormous so i'm about to make my second wrap because it was so good um also just wanted to mention if you didn't know over on instagram so my hair's got, got like this bouncy blow dry and i use the shark flex style hair dryer blow dryer curler smoother thing it's basically like a dyson air wrap but a fraction of the price and i when i had my dyson air wrap i had extensions in i couldn't get it to work on me i can't fairly compare them um but i prefer the shark styler um and i bought a second one to give away to you guys over on instagram so it's live until i think the 30th of october if you want to go and enter that just find a real um that's me it starts with me blow drying my hair i'll put a little thing of it up here so you know which one you're looking for and then just leave a comment underneath and you can enter it but let me show you my lunch 
you see the chicken under there, but oh, it just comes out so good and juicy from the air fryer. Um, and then I've just got it with cucumber, red onion, this, um, which I love. I always pick it up in Aldi, sriracha, chili, mayo sauce, a little bit of mayo. And I'm gonna put some iceberg lettuce in here as well. Good morning, guys. It is school run time and it is absolutely freezing today. It's only six degrees this morning. So we're all wrapped up waiting for the car windscreen to sort its life out before heading to do the school drop off. And then I am heading to the coast to meet some friends for a lovely dog walk by the sea. <laughs> myself today think how I changed how I really don't care if you I am just back from the beach with the dog and I'm about to go and sort out the laundry I've got my sunglasses on because it's so bright in here like I, I can barely see gorgeous walk on the beach and then I had a cheeky little bacon a crispy crispy bacon sandwich and a decaf almond milk mocha excuse me hop and it was lovely we walked we, we did a fair walk actually i didn't turn my thing on until halfway not halfway but uh, quite a bit into the walk and it says i did 6.35k so it was really nice lovely to catch up with the girls and um, there's a load of washing that needs hanging up so i'm going to go and do that with all my apples and satsumas and animal biscuits and my big jug of water. I'm gonna dash and get the girls and then it's a night of dashing around my town with various after school activities tonight. Um, littlest is in one place, biggest is another and the middle one is with me. So we usually go for a little mooch around the charity shop. Absolutely nothing in the charity shops today and it's time to wind down for bed. beautiful day today in Scotland. Today is the second last day of school before we break up for the October holidays and we've got two weeks off so I feel like I'm on mission be productive today. I want the house tidy, I've got a couple of branded stuff that I need to film and I want to go to the gym and I'm walking the dog and I'm just getting it all done. Um, it's glorious today, it's only five degrees but it's that kind of perfect autumn day where it's crisp and fresh and sunny and just glorious all in one and it just it feels lovely it makes me so happy oh it's cold now I've gone into the shade it makes me so happy when the weather's like this um yeah Lee's away for most of the October holidays so I feel like I'm like gearing myself up um wanted to also mention on here as well obviously I used to share the kids on my YouTube channel it's not something that I do anymore is share them online at all um, and I am more of a person now that just wants to share the good and the joyous and the happy and the things that light me up and um, there's always more going on in the background always more and I've touched on the fact that we have our certain struggles with our youngest and that is still all ongoing sleep is still an issue as well as all sorts of other bits and bobs that I won't go into because, you know, there's just no need. But please know, even though I am smiley and alone and out having a beautiful walk with my dog, I've had a really hard morning, a really, really hard morning. Um, and you're not alone if you're going through it as well. And I just think it's really important to highlight that everyone that you're tuning into on social media or YouTube, online, even in real life, always has way more going on behind the scenes and you're just seeing like a tiny fraction of someone's life whether that's online or in person in the playground in the supermarket and I just think that would help us all so much in our day-to-day -day lives if we just like remembered that 
when dealing with other people. Maybe someone is going really slow in the supermarket and you can't get past them. They've taken ages to choose a yogurt, it's driving you mad. But they've had the most horrific morning and they just need a little bit of headspace to think about yogurts and nothing else. Or you're in a traffic jam and someone's honking behind you and getting really rag with you for no reason. But just maybe they've just had a really, really hard morning as well. Anyway, there's my there's my input on that for the day. I've had a tough morning. I'm feeling a bit emotionally, mentally drained, but I'm ready to put it behind me. I've got the full day now to pull myself together and uh, and get shit done. All backwards today. I normally go for a walk and then go straight to the gym and get my workout in but I was really conscious that I have loads of branded stuff that I need to get done today and tomorrow before the kids break up on the holidays. So I was like, I'm not, I can't actually focus until I start like get going with some of that. So then I had to go and shower so that I looked half decent for filming them. So now I'm gonna do all of my bits that I need to do, have some lunch and then go to the gym before I do the school run, I think, which doesn't really make much sense. I mean, I've showered and then I'm going to go to the gym and then I'm going to come back and have to shower again and it's all just a bit backwards. But today is just one of those days. It's just like that. I think that's all I've got to update you on. I've just made some soup in the air fryer for dinner tonight and I'm going to go to the shop and get a nice tiger loaf or something like that to go with it. At least I know dinner is done. I've sacked off the gym in favour of building my new clothing rail that I'm going to have in the spare room slash office because I just want this to be like my dedicated filming space rather than me like taking over our bedroom and the hall and having stuff everywhere. If I can just confine it to one room, I think I'll be a lot less messy. Um, ditched the gym and I'm going to go back out with the dog for another little walk. I am patiently waiting for my period to arrive and I feel like crampy and bloated and just a bit blah. So I'm just going to leave it today. Ah, that took some doing. I don't know why it was just really fiddly, but that looks a little bit better. This space is slowly coming to life. Morning. It is Friday. Happy Friday, folks. Time to do the school run. To the gym. I have the worst mental block on the stepper and it's a challenge to get to 105 floors. I've never made it. I'm gonna do it today. Watch me go. I'm done. Um, I went in with just the intention of doing my 105 floors. It took me like 22 minutes and then I just did a couple more leg exercises and called it a day. I did 45, 41 minutes. It didn't quit me to 45. I did 41 minutes. I'm going to go out and walk the dog now. I've been doing quite a bit of research into cycle syncing actually. Um, and it's all about like matching your workout routine to your menstrual cycle. And it's really interesting. Um, and I always find like when I'm due on my period, I'm so weak and just can lift nowhere near what I'm normally lifting. And just feel really pathetic in the gym and then I always leave feeling a little bit de deflated like still happy that I went and got my workout in but a bit deflated so I think I'm gonna like although it's really hard you have to kind of have regular cycles to be able to do cycle syncing and mine are all over the place so I think I need to sort out my periods and get them regular before I can do the cycle syncing but look into it if you go to the gym and you always feel a bit like blah before your period's due and you don't feel like you're very strong look into cycle syncing because it's really really interesting um i am feeling really dehydrated like i've got a headache brewing so i'm going to go home get loads of water in me get changed take the dog out for a walk with my audiobook and um then actually get stuck into the housework that i didn't manage to get around to doing yesterday because i spent all afternoon building a bloody coat rack um that's what I'm gonna go do. For your home to an immaculately hoovered downstairs. I do have to put all the chairs up like this just so Vera can get under the table, but it is a small, minimal effort for the joy that having a fully hoovered downstairs brings me. We have not had our robot vacuum for that long, and I just spotted the other day that they're on a deal at the moment so i think it's like 40 percent off or something so i'll link the one that we have in the description box ours is called v with a vacuum um and it's dreamy she's programmed through the app on my phone to come out every morning at half past eight and vacuum the whole of the downstairs 
she does all in here, the utility room, the whole of the hall, the playroom, and then goes back to her little home, puts herself in charge. So it's like revolutionized my life. vlog done um, I'm gonna go and put it all together I would love to know what you guys think is this what you were hoping for how long do you want it just let me know give me all the feedback in the comments down below I feel really nervous actually about going live with this good nervous though I don't I'm not like oh, dreading it I feel like butterflies in the best sort of way I hope you enjoyed it and um, I'll see you again next week bye